So today we're gonna be maximizing our rent. First off, don't buy a one bedroom and one bathroom property. We might pay less for the home, but when we decide to sell it, it will be a little bit more difficult because there are fewer buyers out there looking for such a small home. Additionally, if our tenants decide to have kids, they may need to leave the one bedroom for a larger home. So what we need to do is we need to buy at least a two bedroom or three bedroom with a one bathroom property. That way it's larger, customizable, faster to market if we decide to sell it in the future. And most importantly, we get a higher rent. But we need to make sure that the property that we're buying is accessible and comfortable as possible so they will never move. Number two, we will be preparing to put our house up for rent so we gotta make sure to renovate the property until it will look all new and especially if our house looks all worn out we don't want that to happen so now here's a little secret that i always do to my rentals i always add a washer and a dryer because the majority of aspiring tenants will be more drawn to our rental property if it has a washer and a dryer inside renters can save money by using these appliances instead of going out to public laundromats and people usually value the convenience of having these amenities in their apartment and they could use it whenever they can. Another thing we want to make sure to have is a parking spot. I mean that is detrimental in New Jersey, New York. Parking spaces are such an important aspect of a rental property that they are one of the most common sources of frustration when people have an apartment. And it's between landlords and tenants they're always fighting. So what I would do is make sure you got parking for your tenant and you also need to clearly define the parking plan or the space for your tenant so they're going to be happy and they won't be facing any conflict between their neighbors or anyone else in the future otherwise they'll have chaos we'll have unhappy tenants and legitimate concerns number three so we bought a property we already renovated the place we added a washer dryer you got parking space now we're ready to list the place on the market but leo what are we going to do to attract tenants? The short answer is we take photos around the property, but not just that. We need to take professional looking photos like this. Otherwise, we're not going to get top rent. Just imagine if we did all this work, but we have ugly ass photos. Not only it'll give us a hard time finding a tenant, but it's gonna look terrible and it's gonna minimize how much rent, which the opposite of what we want. I mean, we're not gonna get top dollar. Number four, so we're done with photos and imagine the next day a possible tenant pulls up to look at the rental. Now they've seen our professional looking photos and because of that, they were interested. The house already looks great. It has everything that they wanted. So we're gonna top it off with a smile and good vibe. So keep up with that expectation by making the best first impression possible. And with all of that, we maximize our rent. And see you in the next video.